10 Signs Your Kidneys Aren't Working Properly It's all too easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle of everyday life. So we rarely stop and consider the fact that our bodies are in constant overdrive to perform thousands of actions and just keep us alive, really. Your body actually sends you cries for help when something isn't working the way it should, and the consequences of ignoring these signals can be drastic. Brightside has compiled a list of 10 signs which indicate that your kidneys aren't working properly. So show some love to these bean-shaped organs by watching the video till the end. That way, you'll know if your kidneys are doing okay. Number 10. Trouble sleeping. First of all, let's establish what exactly the kidneys do. They're responsible for removing toxins out of the body through the urine. So you could call them a sort of garbage collector for the body. And if they're not functioning correctly, those nasty toxins stay in the body and the blood. When there are too many toxins in your body, it's really hard to fall asleep. That's why when you have trouble sleeping, it may be a signal of kidney problems. Of course, if you had an exciting day or drank more coffee than usual, it's no surprise that you can't get to sleep. But if nothing in your routine is different and you're lying in bed counting and counting and counting sheep, you might want to get your kidneys checked. By the way, those with chronic kidney disease often suffer from sleep apnea, which is a disorder when people actually stop breathing while they're sleeping. Well, it's only for a few seconds at a time and then normal breathing returns with a loud snort, but it's still pretty scary stuff. So if you or anybody you know is a heavy snorer, maybe it's time to see a doctor. Number 9. Headaches, Fatigue and General Weakness This is how it works. Red blood cells carry oxygen around the body, which keeps you feeling energetic. Of course, the fewer red blood cells you have, the faster you feel tired. Now, there's a hormone called EPO that produces red blood cells. And guess what produces this hormone? You got it, the kidneys do. When they're healthy, kidneys process vitamin D to maintain strong bones and put out EPO. So, if you've suddenly started feeling really tired, you should see a doctor. Another important thing you should know is that it's common for people with chronic kidney disease to have anemia, which occurs when someone has 20 to 50% of normal kidney function. If you're getting enough rest and sleep, but are still feeling exhausted or experiencing overall fatigue, go see a doctor ASAP. Number 8. Dry Itchy Skin As you already know, healthy kidneys do tremendous work by removing waste and extra fluid from the blood, helping produce red blood cells and maintaining the right amount of minerals in your body. If you have itchy and dry skin, it may be a signal of your kidney's inability to keep the necessary balance of minerals and nutrients. This mineral deficiency can result in bone disease, and nobody wants that now, do they? What you should do if you have dry and itchy skin is try to stay hydrated. Don't even think about taking any medication for itching before consulting your doctor. Certain medications have ingredients that could potentially damage your kidneys even more. Number 7. Bad breath and a metallic taste in the mouth. When there's too much waste in the blood, it creates a kind of metallic taste in your mouth, which will affect how you taste food. I don't know about you, but I prefer my food to taste mind-blowingly delicious, not metallic. Also, bad breath is another sign of having too many toxins and other sorts of contamination in the bloodstream. Yeah, I don't think Tic Tacs can help with that. Another danger is that the high level of toxins make people lose their appetite in general, especially for meat. A decrease in appetite obviously leads to unhealthy weight loss. Keep in mind that there are lots of reasons why food can have a metallic taste, from allergies to poor oral health. Normally, the metallic taste in the mouth should go away if the assumed cause has been eliminated. If the taste continues to appear, you should contact your doctor. Number 6. 
Number six, shortness of breath. This might sound surprising, but there's a connection between kidney disease and experiencing shortness of breath. There are two main factors. First, extra fluid in the body that the kidneys couldn't remove easily moves right into the lungs. Second, anemia deprives the body of oxygen, and this too results in shortness of breath. Again, besides kidney failure, there are many causes of shortness of breath. Asthma, lung cancer, or heart failure. Running for the bus, to name a few. Oh. So if you can't seem to catch your breath, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have kidney problems. Maybe you're just a couch potato that needs to get up, move around more, and cut down on the donuts. Aw, but where's the fun in that? However, if you notice that you're constantly out of breath after doing effortless tasks like walking to the kitchen or feeding your cat, call your doctor right away. Number five, swelling in the ankles, feet, and hands. So we've established that kidneys that are failing to do their job don't remove any extra fluid from the body. This fluid buildup can lead to sodium retention, which causes swelling in your ankles, feet, and hands. Swelling of the lower parts of your body can also signal heart and liver disease or even problems with the veins in your legs. Sometimes, taking medication that removes excess fluid from your body can stop the swelling. But we strongly recommend that you consult a specialist first before buying such kinds of meds. Kidney problems are serious enough, so you don't want to add any crazy side effects on top of that. Another problem is that by taking medicine that wasn't prescribed to you, it makes your doctor's job a whole lot harder because you could be masking the symptoms that would normally help with the right diagnosis. Number four, back pain. This might come as no surprise since your kidneys are situated toward your back. Back pain from kidney dysfunction is usually deep and located right below the rib cage. But people can also feel pain in the front of the groin or hip area. Back and leg pain could be caused by kidney cysts, which are large fluid-filled sacs formed on the kidneys as a result of polycystic kidney disease. I bet the more sensitive viewers out there are already making a doctor's appointment right now. But hold off on that for a second. There's something else that you should know about back pain. When it's the result of kidney problems, people experiencing back pain also usually feel sick, have high temperature, vomit, and urinate frequently. If you don't have any of these symptoms, you're safe, or you have some other problems unrelated to your kidneys. Normal back pain that has nothing to do with the kidneys is different. The pain is more localized and happens suddenly and without a fever. But anyway, if you have back pain often and painkillers aren't doing the trick, make sure you see your doctor. Number three, puffy eyes. Puffy eyes are an early sign of kidney problems. If the kidney's filtration system is damaged, the kidneys can leak a lot of protein into the urine, rather than keeping it and distributing it evenly throughout the body. As you can guess, this rogue protein will cause puffiness around the eyes. So, if you're completely sure that your body is getting enough rest and sleep, and you definitely haven't been crying during a really touching scene in a rom-com or family-friendly movie, but you continue to notice puffiness around your eyes, make sure to schedule an appointment to see your doctor. Number two, high blood pressure. Your circulatory system and kidneys are like yin and yang. They're interconnected and totally dependent on each other. The kidneys have small nephrons that filter waste and extra fluids from the blood. If the blood vessels get damaged, the nephrons that filter your blood don't get enough oxygen and nutrients. That's why high blood pressure is the second leading cause of kidney failure. There is a way to manage your high blood pressure to avoid kidney failure. What you need to do is add foods rich in folic acid to your diet because it helps with the production of red blood cells and can help prevent anemia. Folic acid boosting foods include leafy greens, citrus fruits, cereals, rice, 
and pastas to name a few. Number 1. Changes in Urination So we talked about how your kidneys are responsible for producing urine and eliminating waste through it. As disgusting as it sounds to examine the stuff, do not ignore any changes in the frequency, smell, color, and appearance of your urine. There are three most common types of changes to look for. First, an increased need to urinate, especially at night. Anywhere between four to 10 times a day is considered normal if you don't drink more than usual. Second is seeing blood in urine. Yeah, that definitely doesn't belong there. Healthy kidneys filter waste from the blood to produce urine, but if the filter is damaged, the blood cells might start to leak out into the urine. And the third most common change is having foamy urine. Bubbles in the urine, especially the ones that require you to flush several times until they go away, indicate that unwanted protein is in the urine. Have you ever had any of these symptoms before? And how did you deal with them? Tell us in the comment section below. Like this video and send it to your friends. They should know how to take care of their kidneys too. And hit the subscribe button to join us on the bright side.